Hello and welcome to today's video on R6 benchmarking. In this video, I have benchmarked my system on Rainbow Six Siege, starting from low settings and going all the way up to high settings. If you happen to have a similar system and I want you to know if you can run Rainbow Six Siege, then this video is for you. The developers have improved the game's benchmarking tool which now gives an in-depth analysis of how your system performs. I'll go over that in detail when the benchmark has finished for that graphic setting. And also, the timestamps are also included in the description, so feel free to browse through certain points throughout the video. Right, first off the GPU load. Don't worry about the GPU load being over 90%. It's normal for your GPUs to have high load percentage when gaming. What's more important is the GPU temperature. As the settings are increased, the temperature will also increase. This is because the GPU has to work harder now to deliver as many frames as it can. The GPU and CPU times are just how long it takes for the GPU and CPU to process previous instructions. Usually the closer they are to each other, the better the system. However, if one takes longer than the other, then this could be holding back your system. In other words, this could be the bottleneck of your system. Maximum frames 171, average frames 142, minimum frames 113. These settings would best suit gamers with 144Hz monitors or 120Hz monitors, but I would use a combination of low to medium settings and lock the FPS on the refresh rate of your monitor. This way your GPU will have less fluctuations while also not having to work as hard to pump out unnecessary frames. Maximum frames 152, average frames 123, minimum frames 90. Best suited for gamers that have 120Hz monitors, but it will be better if the frames are locked at 120Hz via VSync. Some settings can be changed to low if you want the system to chill, but that is up to you.
Maximum frames 128, average frames 105, and minimum frames 81. These settings will be best suited for gamers that have 75Hz or 60Hz monitors, but I would recommend a combination of high and very high settings. And also to lock the frames at your monitor's refresh rate by VSync. This would utilize your system to its potential. If you found this video useful, then be sure to give it a like and also share it with your friends who might also find this video useful. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.